Our next guest is a uh, talented uh, comedian who will be performing this weekend at Governor's Comedy Club on Long Island. Here's the very funny Wendy Liebman. Please, please welcome Wendy Liebman. <laughs> please welcome back to the show the adorable and hilarious Wendy Liebman, everybody. Wendy. Please say hello to Wendy Liebman. She's the greatest. Give it up for Wendy Liebman. really good in here. What is that, Febreze? Can you smell my perfume? I put on a lot of perfume. I put on like a whole magazine. Uh, can you smell it in the back? Today is my lucky day because I'm on AGT and you're here and also today I found $20. Isn't that fun when you find money? It was just sitting there in the tip jar at Starbucks. <laughs> so I've been following the judges on social media, and you should too, and they're so entertaining. And I have to say, Heidi and Mel B, you've inspired me to get a bikini because I've seen the pictures of you. And, but my bikini is a three-piece. Um, <laughs> It's a top, a bottom, and a blindfold for you. <laughs> but I'm going to flaunt it, because I'm 46 years old. And I don't feel 46, because I'm 47. So I, um, <laughs> for two years now, and uh, I've been telling that joke for five. I don't. <laughs> I'm 48, final answer. I am very immature for a 49-year-old woman, <laughs> according to my pediatrician. Uh, now that I'm 50, one and a half, two, I am past my sexual peak and my credit limit. I spend money like I have it. Um, <laughs> Even my cash is bouncing. I, we I went to get a personal loan, and the guy was like, well, what is it for? And I'm like, it's personal. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm asking my father for money at 53. I am. Thank you very much, America. Outstanding. Everyone is on their feet for Wendy Liebman. Hilarious. Heidi. Yes. You're standing up, you're still clapping, you're laughing, and they say you don't get comedy. No, I love your stream of consciousness style of delivery because you just ravel on and on and on, always under your breath, and you're just getting older and older and older. We, we haven't figured it out. I'm, I mean, I know what you're talking about. I've been lying about my age for years. I'm 41 now. Anyway, me too. I loved it. You really made me laugh. I thought you were great. Thank you. <laughs> Mel B. I have to say, finally, a lovely, good-looking woman that makes us all laugh for the entire act, from start to finish. You made us all thrill. And that's never happened, by the way. That's never happened. Never happened before. You know, uh, it's funny. You had a follow Acro Army, which had a great uh, thing there. And you came out, and what I, I was concerned with you because Every time I see you, sometimes you play the victim in the sense that, oh, I haven't been in stand-up for a long time. And you came out tonight like you own that stage. You came out like a rock star. And I love that. And you were so funny and in command. Great job. Really great. Fantastic. Our comedic expert, Mr. Howie Mandel. Well, let me just say, I've known Wendy for 56 years now. And the thing is... <laughs> <laughs> but... She is truly, you know, I think, I truly believe, and people are not going to believe me because I'm a comedian, I think that's the hardest profession. I think you need more from the audience than any other act tonight. You need to make them laugh. 
everything that you did, every swing you took was a home run. You made us laugh, we believed you, we love you, we like you, vote for you. All right, Wendy. You gotta tell me, a little emotional, I see that. How was it performing at Radio City Music Hall? It's so surreal. First, I really want to thank the guys in the back, all the crew back there. They are beyond amazing. But uh, yeah, give it up for them. The crew. <laughs> but I also, like when I was a little girl, my parents used to bring me to Radio City every Christmas. And then they'd pick me up at Easter. But, um, <laughs> but to have them here see me perform on this stage is just surreal. So. Super funny. Thank you so much. Good luck and good job. While someone gets robbed, there was a crime committed here when this woman who is so funny and so smooth and such a professional, when she got voted off, I gasped. I gasped. You gasped. Would you wake up? I'm here. All right. Anyway, <laughs> this is Wendy Liebman. Thank you so much, Howard Stern, for bringing me back to New York. And isn't this a phenomenal show? Since I've been back in New York, I went to my class reunion uh, from kindergarten. Um, I didn't want to go because since kindergarten, I've put on like a hundred pounds. <laughs> but I lost two pounds this summer, mostly bone loss. I also got to see my grandmother since I've been home. She's such a wise woman. She said to me that the secret to a successful marriage is don't go to sleep angry. And she's been awake since 1946. <laughs> I've been married 11 years. Uh, I met my husband online at the supermarket. <laughs> He was checking me out, and um, then he bagged me, and then, um, <laughs> then we walked down the aisle, and he was so romantic when he proposed to me. Okay, he turned off the TV. That's it. <laughs> Well, he muted it uh, during halftime. But the point is, it was my first engagement ring. Yeah. My last boyfriend had given me a piece of coal, and he told me that he would marry me when it turned into a diamond from all the pressure I was putting on him. But ultimately, I think the secret to a successful relationship of any kind is if you have a similar sense of humor as the other person. And nobody makes me laugh more than my husband does in bed. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wendy Liebman. Got the fellas on their feet. Judge Howard Stern. Nick, I'm so glad I brought Wendy back. You know, it's a great pleasure because it's such a tough show for comics. You know, there's so many people dazzling us with dance and music. This is so hard for someone to quiet the audience down, get control, and really make them laugh. And Wendy does it so well, and I hope America appreciates just how she brought her A game tonight. You can't do better than this. Come on. You gotta vote for Wendy. She deserves to be in this competition. Great job. Heidi? See, now this is the kind of comedy that I like. It's relatable, it's intelligent, and what I love is how you misdirect always the audience. You know, you kind of go this way with your joke, and then you go this way with your joke, and then you kind of have something under your breath that it's following it. You're really, really funny. Thank you, Heidi. Means a lot coming from Heidi Klum. This way, that way, all kind of directions. Mel B. I just love a very strong, funny, independent woman. And that's exactly what you are. You shone on that stage tonight. And I actually want to thank Howard for bringing you back. Great job tonight. I hope America votes for you. Thank you. Mr. Mandel, you were on your feet. <laughs> 
I was, and I second that opinion, and Howard, thank you. People have to understand the creativity. You hone each word. You write the material. You have to elicit every five seconds a response that's not easy from this audience laughter. That's harder than any other form of entertainment that's on here tonight. You won. You won the crowd. I love you. It's very, very creative and funny and beautiful. And Wow, amazing reviews from all the judges. Great job. Don't let go. Don't let go. Just keep holding on to me. Good luck. Tonight.